Howdy folks, this is the Game Hoarder here, and I'm bringing you something a little special. I promised uh, a seller off of eBay, who's also uh, he's a good friend of mine, known him a long time. He's Jay the Classic Gamer, and you can find his YouTube channel on YouTube, obviously. Just go to Jay the Classic Gamer, and check out some of his classic Nintendo and old school console reviews. They're pretty awesome. Anyways, Jay came across... Uh, quite a few awesome old DOS games so we've been wheeling and dealing over eBay and I told him I'd do a little uh, video on his amazing package jobs um, never mind the dented boxes he sent them in uh, but anyways we're gonna go ahead and open these together I just received these and uh, as you can see they are from Jay the Classic Gamer to the Game Hoarder yep yep Jay the Classic Gamer, right from the man himself. So let's go ahead and see what kind of goodies we got in here to add to the DOS collection. I'm going to go ahead and open these. You're just going to have to wait in anticipation. Just like me. I ended up buying so much from this guy that he threw in a couple freebies. We'll go over that as well. All right, what do we got in here? I think he sent me a bunch of fucking popcorn, and that's it. God damn, Jay. I want to be able to get to my goodies. All right. I'm gonna turn my fan on, off, so it doesn't blow popcorn all over the place. All right, what do we got here? Yeah, Demon's Tomb. We got some Demon's Tomb in there. As you can see, Jay is really good about his packaging. This other game on the back is Night Games. Jay is uh, he's quite amazing at the packaging deal. Bubble wraps everything nice and tight for you. We also got uh, Where in Time is Carmen San Diego. These are all complete. Most of these are still in the Saran Wrap as we'll get to later after I unwrap a couple. We've also got Where in America's Past is Carmen San Diego. This is actually one that he just sent me uh, for free because we had done so much business together. As in, he's taking all my money kind of business. We also got, here we go. We got Sylphide by Sierra. And uh, this has still got the plastic around it most of it anyways that's what we call impeccable condition this is of course a an original Sierra it's not a knockoff what else we got legend of Fargo also still in the wrap thank you Jay for coming across all these wonderful games still in the fucking plastic this is metal and lace I'll, uh, I'll do shots of these all again uh, once we I get the bubble wrap off. I don't want to waste time with me struggling with it. And of course I have me a uh, Fate of Atlantis. Had to get the Indiana Jones Fate of Atlantis. I did not have that in the collection. And we have Demon's Forge and another game called Trilogy. And we'll get more into more into that. This is this is just kind of show you uh, the awesome packaging that this guy does here for me. So we get a little collection here. This is box number two. This is like a uh, this is like fucking Christmas and shit over here. We're gonna add all these games to the collection, and I'm gonna need a third shelf here. Jay was also nice enough to ship these for free. Um, as you can see, he covered quite a shipping cost on both these for me. But again, I did spend quite a few dollars with this with this individual. And in here, you can see everything nicely bubble wrapped and uh, packed. Right here, I have the Sorceress 
101 and 201. These were really cool, funny uh, text adventure games from back in the day, and we'll be looking at those a little bit more closely in a moment. That's a Stellar 7 by Sierra, as well as uh, SimCity. There's a Quest for Glory 1 still in the plastic. This is the other free game that he sent me, which is a nice Leisure Suit Larry 5. I do already own a copy of that and Quest for Glory, but now we got some nice new additions. This is a CR game called Zeliard. Uh, this is actually uh, still factory sealed. And that's a Quest for Glory 2. Again, I already own it, but I felt like buying it again. And here's a Police Quest 2, which I needed, and Dark Spire. So I'm going to go ahead and unwrap all these. And we'll be back again to take a look, a little bit better look at the condition that uh, we bought these in. And then we'll somehow find space for them on the shelf here. No, we won't. We're just going to have to go buy another bookshelf, aren't we? Alright, so here we are. I got everything unwrapped and we're just going to go through it quickly. Of course, eventually I'll be doing Let's Explores in detail of all these games. Uh, that's where we do the front and the back of the box and check out the contents. So anyways, again, we have uh, Where in America's Past is Carmen San Diego. This is a pretty heavy box here. It's got the Atlas and all that good shit built in. Where in Time is Carmen San Diego. You can see that all these games are open, but they still have the original plastic on them and price tags. Um, this here is Metal and Lace. It's made by Megatech. They also did Knights of Zintar. This is kind of a uh, anime, uh, what do they call that shit, the porn anime, the Japanese shit, yeah, I forget the name, because, uh, you know, I don't watch that shit like most of you nerds, but anyways, this comes with the NR18 disc as well, to uh, make the bitches naked. This is uh, Quest for Glory 1, that's still in the seal there, it is opened at the top, but we're talking uh, flawless condition here, and of course, I've checked these contents, everything is complete. The Legend of Fargo, we've seen that in the last video. This is a different edition of SimCity that I wanted. And I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure I got that for next to nothing. Uh, Stellar 7, this is a Sierra action y type sci fi uh, game. Dark Spire, this is uh, kind of an RPG game made by Electronic Zoo, Electric Zoo. This is older. This is a mint condition trial by fire uh, comes with both sets of the disc this is an original first print that's still completely in the seal this is a police quest 2 uh, this is also an original this is not a slash edition that's an actual sticker which means it's not slash and again Zeliard this is a factory sealed uh, action adventure game that Sierra released for game arts uh, kind of Sorcerian type style, if, you, if you're familiar with Sorcerian. This is Trilogy. This is made by Mastertronic. They did a whole bunch of uh, older games there. This is kind of a text adventure game. This is actually three games in one. And uh, I'll probably do a Let's Play for those. Demon Forge. This is completely factory sealed. This is another Mastertronic game. Demon's Tomb. This kind of had... Uh, the wrap on it still, but not really, so I just took it off. It was falling off. And Knight's Game, this is another Mastertronic game I got. This is open, but still original seal. Sylphide again. Another Sierra action game. And this is Sorcerer's Appliance, which is Spellcasting 201. These were really funny text adventure games with some graphics put in with them as well. Uh, this is Spellcasting 101, the first one. And then Leisure Suit Larry 5. An impeccable condition, and of course, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, the CD-ROM enhanced edition. Uh, it has the hymn book in it now that I've added it. Jay, the uh, classic gamer, uh, actually didn't have the hymn book for this, but I had an extra one lying around, so I stuck that in there to make it complete. So anyways, thank you, Jay, the classic gamer. Again, if you haven't checked out Jay's site on YouTube, it's Jay, the classic gamer. Uh, he does some pretty pretty hardcore cool old school reviews on uh, the old NES games and Genesis and Master System things like that 
So check out his site. And uh, if he's ever selling anything on eBay, tell you what, the man's good. He knows how to pack his shit. All right, you guys take care. I'm going to get this stuff up, put up on the shelves.